Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all shop with me and DIY home decorating videos. And today I have a spring 2023 home decor refresh. We're doing a little guest bedroom mini makeover, which I'm really excited about. I've not done anything new to this space in well over a year since I first did the makeover in here. We're gonna be changing out some of the decor and the bedding so much more and giving this whole space a refresh. We're also finally gonna be taking down my Easter decor and doing some home decor refreshes throughout the rest of my home. We have a few DIY home improvement projects. We're gonna be hanging a lighting fixture and so much more. I hope that you guys are excited. We have a ton to cover. We're gonna be all over the house today, so we're gonna hop into it right now. Hopping straight in with my guest bedroom. I am so excited to finally be doing some refreshes in here because I have not done anything to this space since I did my initial guest bedroom makeover well over a year ago. If you wanna see that whole process, how we turned this room into the very serene, calm environment that it is, I'll have that video linked for you down below. As most of you probably know, we had a baby nine weeks ago and we have had tons of guests in and out of our home coming to meet the baby as well as help support us as new parents. So this room has been getting a ton of use and it just needs a bit of a refresh I don't know if you guys are anything like me but I have absolutely no clue that you're supposed to change out your mattress every six to eight years I've been sleeping on this one for well over ten it's been my mattress since I first moved to Florida it was Brian and I's mattress for a long time and then became our guest bedroom mattress when we moved into this house and all of our guests aka my mom sorry mom have just complained that it's really lumpy and not supportive or comfortable so I was really excited when Nectar reached out and wanted to work together so thank you so much to Nectar for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of Nectar, they are an award-winning mattress that has sold over 2 million and counting. Well, I guess now 2 million and one. We just had a baby nine weeks ago and we have had tons of guests and it's really important to me that at least someone in this house is getting good rest. So I knew that I wanted to replace the mattress in here and I decided to go with the Nectar Premier Copper Mattress. This mattress is 14 inches of pure comfort. One of the things I love most about it is the quilted cooling cover. We're in Florida. It's already almost 90 degrees every single day So having a heat wicking cover with cooling technology is absolutely vital I also love the gel infused memory foam It's super high density and it's certified flexible memory foam to make it the most comfortable mattress you can get The mattress is made with premium materials, but still is super affordable So even though they're sourcing out the most high quality mattress and bed materials They still have the most competitive pricing possible It's so comfortable that Brian and I keep making jokes that we're gonna pick a fight so that we can go and sleep in the guest bedroom because we're really jealous that it's not our mattress but with replacing the mattress I knew that I also wanted to get some new goodies for it so I did get the resident serenity sleep bundle resident is the home goods company that brings you brands like nectar and dream cloud and I received the serenity sleep bundle with the purchase of my mattress it comes with a lot of really cool items like these two cooling pillows a mattress protector and a sheet set and I'm really excited that I got these because it really just makes the whole space feel so new and so refreshed and that's how Brian and I want all of our guests to feel when they come to our home anyways really well rested and refreshed coming here for them is a vacation it's time for them to bond with us and the baby and so having this new mattress gets us one step closer it honestly it will help them feel like they are staying in a hotel and get really good sleep even if the rest of us aren't so thank you so much to nectar for sponsoring today's video click the link in the description to get a nectar mattress of your own today okay obviously we all use a fitted sheet but i have to know you have to let me know down in the comments below are you team top sheet or no top sheet I absolutely hate top sheets. We do not have one on our master bed, but I always put it on the guest bed because I just feel like it's something you should have on a bed for other people. Sets always come with them, so I know you're supposed to use them, but I just think they are so pointless. You have to let me know down below, are you team top sheet or no top sheet? For the bedding, we are using this really beautiful lace trimmed Studio McGee set that I got at Ollie's for $30. I think it was originally like almost a hundred. It is such a stunning bedding. I didn't iron it or anything. I honestly think it's supposed to have that crinkled look. And right here, I thought that I forgot to put the top sheet, but it was actually pillowcases and realized that I just completely mom brained right there and had to put the comforter all the way back on. 
what I love most about this comforter besides for the lace trim is that it's really fluffy so I feel like it looks super luxurious and almost hotel like which is the whole vibe that we are going for here in the guest bedroom the old bedding that we had on here was a like cream ivory color so I knew for the spring I wanted to put this really stark white bright bedding on the bed another thing that's really satisfying is fluffing up like new pillows or watching a new mattress rise so these are the new pillows that I just got in my serenity sleep bundle so I was kind of just like beating the life back into them you can also put them in a dryer with tennis balls or dryer balls whichever you prefer but doing this is a nice way to take out a little bit of frustration I do want to keep most of the pillows that were still on there I'm just kind of refreshing the space not doing any crazy makeovers or anything although Brian really does want to steal those green pillows and use them on the master bed so I might end up doing some switching around in the future but I knew for now I wanted to keep this a bit more budget friendly and just keep mostly what we had on there and only add in a few new touches so I decided I was trying to decide do I want to use those square pillows or not I decided not to but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below I was testing out a couple different pillow variations and a couple of different blanket variations this chunky knit blanket is from Casa Luna it's my absolute favorite Casa Luna bed blanket it's just so thick and luxurious it's a little bit pricey but the quality is amazing and then I grabbed this green blanket from Kirkland's so I tried it here first and I thought that that looked okay but I did also try it on the corner of the bed which you're gonna see in just a second so I don't know just let me know your thoughts and everything down below team top sheet or no top sheet do you like the blanket it here in the center or right here on the corner I think I prefer the corner but let me know all of your thoughts just look at all of the lace detailing on here it's so so pretty especially for the spring and summer and then also for decor touches in here I added on these little leather boxes that I picked up from Kirkland's they have a beautiful brass detailing and they are just perfect for the space So the next space we're going to be tackling is the home office and this is a space I truly have not done anything to since we did the makeover in like December. It was a very budget friendly affordable mini makeover. We did not have the budget to do this makeover but we really wanted to do something to this room because it's one of the first rooms you see when you come into the house and we were having my baby shower at our house. So we just used stuff that we already had like the baskets. We made a basket wall but we already had them all. We changed out the artwork in the frames and used furniture that we already had and then the black piece that's against the back wall that was from Ikea it only came in white at the time and so we had to paint it black and it was a huge fail <laughs> don't look too closely at the piece of furniture it was honestly such an epic fail so if you want to see a funny video definitely go watch that one I'll have it linked down below but this room just became a catch-all for all baby items like all of her stroller stuff and registry items that we haven't used yet because they're not like age appropriate for her so it just kind of became a catch-all and Brian does work in this space so we wanted to get it all cleared out we do have the Up A Baby Vista V2 for anyone who's wondering what stroller we have. We are obsessed with it. It's worth every single penny. But the big project that we want to accomplish in here is hanging a new lighting fixture. There's just a boob light on the ceiling right now and they're just so ugly and just so builder grade. We actually got this light but just did not have time to put it up for the makeover so we never got around to it. So I knew that I wanted to put it in this home refresh video and maybe give you a few tips on how to change out a lighting fixture if you've never done it before keep in mind i'm not an electrician i am not a professional i'm just a diyer who has changed out a lot of the lighting fixtures in our home so all you have to do is basically assemble the light fixture that's the first step in the process make sure you're following all the directions um, and before you start touching anything electrical to do with the house make sure you cut the power i know i say this in all my videos where we work on electrical stuff but in case you haven't seen any of them i just want to make sure that you know that you need to cut the power to the room from the power box that's probably in your garage or somewhere in your home go and cut the power so that you can be super safe so first step assembling second step cutting the power third step take the original light off Once 
once you have the old light off, this is definitely the hardest part, is attaching the bracket for the new lighting fixture. Everything to do with hanging lights is so difficult because it's all over your head, so it's a really intense shoulder workout. But once you get the bracket up, it's kind of smooth sailing from there. You just have to attach the wires from the new lighting fixture to the hard wires of the house and cap them off, and then just push the light back up into the bracket and screw it in, and you are pretty much good to go. It's definitely an oversimplified version of how you do it, but I just kind of wanted to break it down because I feel like when you look at instructions or look online it's a lot more overwhelming than it really is once you actually start doing it we're gonna do the full reveal in a second I just wanted to clean up this room first we made quite the mess we have two ladders and then just all the trash and old lighting fixture parts all over the floor plus a lot of drywall so I just wanted to get all of this cleaned up and then get it all vacuumed and you already know that I'm gonna be using my absolute favorite Dyson dupe vacuum from Amazon I am obsessed with this thing it has every single attachment that a Dyson would come with you can use it so many different ways and so many different heights it's perfect for stairs counters blinds we've literally used it for everything it's also super lightweight and a fraction of the price of a Dyson you can get this for sometimes hundred and fifty dollars so I will definitely have it linked and here's the reveal there is our new lighting fixture I think it looks so cute way better than a boob light and we could not be happier with it I knew it was definitely time for me to change out the paper towel holder because the other one we've had for years, the top of it, like the leather part of like glued and everything, it's just falling apart. So I grabbed this one from Home Goods, but these Home Goods stickers seriously take years off of my life. Definitely my biggest tip is to just hit it with a blow dryer because it loosens up the adhesive underneath and it really peels right off with no residue. So highly recommend that tip. I wanted to grab a black metal one because we have black metal hardware in our kitchen and I just kind of wanted to add more of like a modern look to the countertops. I did want to balance out the modernness though with a couple more wood accents since I was taking away the paper towel holder I grabbed this little tray from Target I also grabbed this little lamp from threshold at Target it's new and it's black with like gold accents it's so pretty so perfect for our kitchen I did want the tray to be functional as well so I picked up one of these and I'm so curious to see how many of you guys know what this is if you don't know it is a French butterbell I have always wanted one of these I think it's so cool and so much cuter than a traditional butter dish so the way that it works is the top half is where the butter goes and I did go ahead and leave this stick of butter out overnight so that it would get super soft. I love butter. I always have softened butter. I'm more of a butter girl. Brian is an olive oil guy so we've definitely had to adapt and compromise with cooking in our relationship because I always cook with butter and he always wants to cook with oil. But anyways, the way that this works is you spread the butter out into the top half and then on the bottom half you're going to see a little fill line. It's just a couple tablespoons of water. It's not a lot but when you put the butter bell back into the water it creates an airtight seal that will keep your butter fresh for over 30 days although I will use my butter a lot faster than that but I just think this is so adorable like I said so much cuter than a butter dish but functionality wise I quickly realized that this just didn't make sense this whole setup so I did some swapping around and I moved my cookbooks closer to the refrigerator and closer to the pantry which just makes way more sense because we do actually cook so many different recipes from this cookbook if you've never tried it go on to the Magnolia blog Chip and Joanna Gaines blog and they have this like raspberry pork chop recipe that is literally to die for you do have to order the marinade special I couldn't find it at any grocery stores near me, but it's so worth it. And then I did want to address the Cutco knives because so many of you are always like, where's your white knife set from? I feel like so many of you guys love it. I don't love it. I don't think it's really anything special, but it is from Cutco. Brian used to sell them a really long time ago. And then I did decide to move this decor tray into this corner, which just makes more sense to have the lamp over here as well as the butter bell because it's way closer to the toaster. And this is actually where I prepare breakfast and stuff. So it's actually nicer to have it over here. I did decide to layer a cookbook, my half-baked harvest cookbook, also tons of great recipes, and this is what it turned out looking like. I think it looks so cute. I'm obsessed with my new Butterbell, and I'm super excited to use it. Where did it end? Hanging on those strings. Unable to bend, I never listened. Trying to prove it, just like the movies. I was gonna say.
am so happy to finally be decluttering and refreshing these spaces because it just felt like so many different holidays were just scattered all around the house. We had the Christmas stuff in the kitchen. Right here, I'm just getting rid of the rest of the Easter decor. And for now, I'm just redecorating back to the way it was before I decorated for Easter. And then in like a week or so, I'm doing a really fun summer tablescape, like dining room decorate with me. I'm really excited to bring you guys that video. I've never done a video like that before. And then I'm also gonna be doing a summer home refresh decorate with me with like fun festive Americana decor outside and some new fun, fresh summer touches on the inside of the house. So you have those really fun decorating videos to look forward to in the next few weeks if you're excited about them definitely make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss them but for now i just returned things to the way they were before easter and as always i'm just beyond obsessed with this shelf and with all of those simple changes and projects i feel like our home is completely refreshed and reset and ready for summer decor well already you guys there you have it a spring home refresh with a ton of diy home improvement projects we have a ton more to come we're gonna have my summer home decor refresh or summer decorate with me coming up really soon with a bunch of really fun and festive summer decorations but I hope you enjoyed this spring refresh with the DIY home improvement projects and thank you to Nectar for sponsoring this video Thank you for giving our guests the comfort of sleep because not everyone in this house is getting it with a new baby But a new comfortable mattress definitely helps so check out the link in the description to get yours today I hope that you guys enjoyed this video Let me know your favorite areas and what was your favorite project down below if you learned something like maybe how to hang a lighting fixture or got inspiration for the decor definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on all of my future videos thank you guys so much for watching i love you all so much and i'll see you next time bye guys